me ask you this. Uh, your father died while you were in prison. Yeah, March of 1999. Were you allowed to go to the funeral? No. The government wouldn't let me go. That must have been hard. Yeah, it was terrible. Yeah, they wouldn't let me go. The, fed, the feds are different than the, in the state. They would have took me, but the feds, they, 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 they wouldn't. What happened was the warden gave me, I got, I had, I had permission all the way up to Washington, and then somebody in Washington, at the last stage of, of the process, he denied me. Everybody approved me, and then the last stage of the process, I got denied. You think Trump would have approved you? <laughs> Maybe, probably. He's approving everybody else. Well, he's, he's from New York. He might have, listen, he yeah, he might, he's, he's from Queens, right? He's from uh, Forest Hills. He would have said, yeah, yeah. He's doing a, listen, he's doing a lot for people that are in prison. He's, he's doing a lot for them. Yeah, he is. He Some is. people no, don't yeah, like him. Some so, people uh, don't like him. So, you know, he's doing let a lot me, for them. Let me, do, do you remember the last conversation you ever had with, with your father? I do. The last time, well, not the last time, yeah, well, I, I'm gonna, I'll tell you two conversations. The last conversation I had per, in person with him, because I had, I remember the last conversation I had with him was on the phone, but the last conversation I had with him in person, he came to visit me in Elmira, because I was away with my brother and this guy, Charlie, and uh, he, he was in And the why were you guys away at this point? Can I was you, away at the that? time, yeah, I was away, I had a state case for bookmaking and I had a federal uh, RICO case with Nikki Carraza and Lenny Di Maria and all these guys we had a case in Florida that I and for people that are not experts in, in crime what family was that the Gambino family mm -hmm. all of it was the Gambino so family. for you the whole time you were with the Gambinos yeah my whole life yeah okay yeah so he came up to visit me and I was in Elmira because I had to do, finish my state time then I was going back to the feds to do the fed time and he came up to visit me and he's told me he was opening up a produce company with some guys from Philly that he had met in prison. Um, the boss of Philly, Joey Molina and this guy, Billy, they were opening up a produce business. And he said it was for me. And I said, why is it for me? And he told me, because the mob is over. He said, the mob's over. I says, what do you mean it's over? He goes, the two things we had gone for us, everybody feared us and nobody cooperated is over. He goes, nobody fears us no more and people are cooperating. And he said, so it's over. He goes, it's, it's done. I said, all right. So he was opening up this produce business. But the last conversation I had with him, I was trying to get, I had, my sentence was um, concurrent with my state time and the BOP owed me 14 months. So I hired an attorney. I hired an attorney to, to, to try to get me the 14 months back. And I called up my father and my mother told me that my father was dizzy. And he don't want to go to the doctor. So my father got on the phone. I said, what's the matter? You don't want to go to the doctor? He goes, nah. He goes, I'm just a little dizzy. He goes, don't worry about me. Did you call the lawyer? So his whole concern was me. And I said, yeah, I called the lawyer. We put the papers in for the 14 months. And I had a whole conversation about my attorney with him. And then at the end of the conversation, I said, listen, if you don't feel good tomorrow, make sure you go to the doctor. And he goes, yeah, don't worry. If I don't feel good tomorrow, I'll go to the doctor. Just make sure you stay on top of this with the lawyer. And that was the last time I spoke to him. That how was old it. was how old was Anthony when he passed? Anthony Seventy two.